This is Mark, Head of Customer Education here at ClickFunnels. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can sync an email drip delay with your membership drip delay. So this is useful if you want to send an email sequence to someone to remind them to come back and check each lesson as it is released. So as you can see here, I have four lessons. One is a welcome message, and this is set to no delay. So they will have immediate access to this lesson. However, each consecutive lesson is set to an increasing drip delay. This one is set to one day, so they'll have this one the next day after they get access to the membership area. This one is set to two days, so that would be two days after they get access to the membership area. And this one is three days. And so I want to have an email go out when they get access to these membership areas. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a list in Action Edits. Now please take note that this requires access to Action Edits in order to set this up. So in Action X, I've created an email list and I've called it membership drip delay. The next thing that I've done is inside the editor of my membership area, I have added under the email settings, this email integration to add to the Action Edit list membership drip delay. So that's going to add them when they register for the membership area, it's going to add them to this membership drip delay list. Now, the next thing that I've done is I've created an action funnel called membership drip delay. Now, this action funnel is synced with the membership drip delay list so that when somebody is added to this list, it will trigger the membership drip delay action funnel. So as you can see here, I have a welcome email that will go out immediately a day one reminder that will go out after one day, a day two reminder after two days, and a day three reminder after three days. There's a few things here that I want to point out that will help make this easier when you're setting up this action funnel. The first is make sure that you have your delay set. You'll see the delay right here. Also, make sure that you have set the email to live right here. It, it'll say paused by default, so you wanna click on it and change it to live. You'll also want to make sure you click right here on settings to make sure that you change the subject line and from name of your email. You'll also want to make sure that you save this as a template by clicking here. What that's going to do is allow you to use this same email that you've created in your other reminder emails and it'll save you time and make it easier to set these emails up. So what you're going to do is once you've edited your email how you like, and then you click save template. You want to make sure that that template is enabled. And then when you go to the next step in your action funnel, you'll be able to see that you can then use that template for future emails. And then you can open that up in the editor and you can edit it however you need. So if I say welcome to the membership area in the welcome email, I would want to say welcome to lesson three or your lesson is, is ready whatever it is that you would like to say there. I'm going to click save and then close. And now my reminder emails are all set up. Now the other way to do this would actually be to set this up in the automation section of your membership area. This will work whether you have the Edison Suite account or the ClickFunnels starter plan. So you click on automation and you can set up your emails here with the appropriate drip delay. I hope that helps. Please contact support if you have any questions.